What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI of another Dell Optiplex 980 mini tower. This is a tear down disassembly video. I'll show you how to do that. So first off we're going to remove the side cover panel. There's a latch right here in the bottom. So remove the side cover panel. And first off you will need a wear latex gloves and you will need a Phillips screwdriver. And first off you're going to start off probably with the power supply and there will be four screws in the back right here and you gotta move the four screws before we remove the power supply so and you're gonna use a Phillips screwdriver to move all the screws here in the back and you're gonna disconnect all the cables from the optical drive and from the hard drive and the four pin right here and it's got a little clip right here you have to press on to release it right here with your finger you have to release the lock like this to release it the four pin and the same with 24 pin mini right there get that disconnected I'm just gonna show you guys like this and disconnect uh, that's about it we disconnect everything now we're gonna go ahead and uh, and there's going to be a clip right here so what you have to do is you take a screwdriver right here and you have to press you have to take a screwdriver and press on this clip down to release the power supply secure lock and just to remove the power supply make sure you disconnect all the cables it's going to be plugged into this little plastic clip right here the SATA and just remove the power supply now Disconnect all the SATA cables here. This is gonna be the front panel. And what we're gonna do is uh, remove the memory here. memory now make sure you get all the SATA cables here get that removed disconnect the SATA cable from the hard drive right here and we're gonna remove the hard drive to pull the cat as a little clip through you push your finger like this and it comes right out just like that now we're gonna remove the internal speaker right here there's a little clip right here, you like to see your finger, you press on it to remove it, just like that, and it comes right out and just uh it's gonna be plugged into the motherboard and his internal speaker. I'm gonna zoom out the camera, you guys can see better. Okay, so now I'm gonna disconnect the SATA cable from the optical drive, and we're gonna get remove the optical drive now. And you press down this clip right here, down, to reach the front plastic cover for the for the optical drive, and press it again to release the optical drive, just like that, and it comes right out. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the video card here. This little clip right here, you press on your finger. And you're going to remove the video card that holds the PCI brackets right here. So, and there's a little clip right here. You press your finger, the PCI bracket, X16 slot right here that holds the video card secure. So, you press and press it down with your finger really gently, and your video card will come right out. You see right there? You have to press it down. So, we got the video card removed. Now, we're going to go ahead and remove the, the heat sink for the processor. And there'll be two screws right here. And two screws right here, you have to remove the heat sink. And two screws right one, another one in here in the left and the right. Remove the heat sink. Now we're gonna disconnect the fan here. The motherboard's connected, it's a four pin for wire. And it's got a little secure clip right here too, you have to press on it to release it. 
Otherwise, if you don't press on it, try to pull it, and it's gonna break it off. So it'd be really gently just press on like this, and it comes release the lock. So we just remove the heat sink. Now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the sensor here. It looks like, and we're gonna try to remove the motherboard and disconnect the front panel. It looks like right there. Another cable here. It's for the front panel, and. A little clip right here, you have to remove the wire from the plastic. This is for the front USB. And we're going to go ahead and remove the motherboard, and there'll be, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, seven screws that we have to remove here. One. Two, get three, four, five, six. Seven screws. Now, what you need is uh, to take your fingers like this, be really gently. We're gonna, if you want to remove the process, you could do that. So, take this clip right here, you press it down really gently, your finger, and remove the processor clip. And what you're gonna do is take out the processor just like that, really easy. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna remove the motherboard. And to do that, you're gonna take your finger this really gently and just just lift it up really gently and it comes right out. Just like that, motherboard. And if you want to remove the battery, really easy, just a little clip right here, you press on it and the battery should come right out. So here's the motherboard. So we remove the motherboard. Now we're gonna remove the last part is PCI brackets here. And there'll be the front panel will be the last right here. I don't know if you guys want to remove that. And it's held by the one screw right there for the front panel, USB, and micro of headphones. And I just need to and it should come right off. So it comes right off really easy. Okay. Okay, we're gonna remove the front uh, right here, the bezel here too. It looks like it holds by the clips. And try to remove the last part here. Okay, let's see. And this comes right out. There's another clip right here to remove the front cover bezel. It's going to be right there. You have to press with your screwdriver. So, and this comes right out. So remove that. That's how easy it is to do. Just remove the front cover bezel. I'm not gonna do that. It's clipped in there. So that's why we remove that. 
So that's about it you guys, we removed the, this is the teardown of the Dell Optiplex 980 mini tower. Thanks for watching, bye.